Okay, so yesterday I show you uh, how I grow plant from cuttings and that we're using the coconut coir. This one I have here at home and I'm using peat moss. It's the same setup except I use peat moss. Uh, and the difference here is I have no heat pad, but um, and here you can see this is the water heater for the swimming pool so they always a pilot light lit under here so this kind of warm so i basically put this on top to but i i have this here give it a barrier because i don't want the tray to touch the bottom it become too hot uh, but it's warm enough that i measure it it's about 90 degrees inside actually so this is about the same time. It's been about two weeks as well. So let's take a look inside and see how they are doing. Okay, just a lot of lot of water condensation build up here. So let's take it inside. So I have similar cutting, and uh, you know these are fig. Um, I don't see any root here. I don't see any root there. So, so I didn't see any root from these thick. Um, let's see here. This is oh right here. We can see it. This one has roots. You can see this is from another the thick cutting, and the roots sorry come out. See that? So this one looked good as well. And I also have these are uh, Chinese Visteria. Uh, there's no roots on here. No root on here. Mm, no root on here. No root on that one either. No root on this one either. So, uh, this is low quad. Uh, let's see if there's any root. Okay, a low quad you can see here. The, the roots just start coming out. There's no doubt. You see, this ton of them gonna come out. It shows sign that. Yeah, right here too as well. You see the close up in here. These dot dot here basically indicate where the roots gonna come out. So this one looks pretty promising as well. Yeah, well, no doubt. But you can see, you know, this has been two weeks as well. And and I think the heat pad does make a difference. Oh, wow. These these, these are going to have tons of roots in a, in a, in a few weeks. Um, so I had a, a Sam cut. This is from a pepper tree. And the one that I did, uh, the one I showed you in the, in the other video with the coconut uh, core, there's a bunch of roots. This one, there's no roots coming out yet. But this one, you know the difference here, this one doesn't have a heat pad. I just use it outside. I just want to see if it works or not. Uh, so this is a Uh And you can see here, the roots have started forming as well. So this one, definitely going to have roots coming out. Um, yeah, we're gonna see right here. It's already foaming. So the, the, the you know, roots gonna come out for sure. Yeah, same as this one. See, we see, we see right here. Okay, so it look like pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with, with what it's showing so far, because it's, it look like there won't be any problem where the boots will come out. Um, this one, there's nothing. So this is the orange. Uh, don't see anything yet. This is the same as uh, as the other one. I think orange maybe take longer than two weeks to to have the roots form because the other one I don't see anything either. And 
This is a persimmon. Uh, not seen any roots either. This is kind of the same with the other one that I see. Yeah, look like persimmon is it's not doing um, well either. Because the other one, I, I didn't see any roots on persimmon either. So, okay. So, the uh, the fig it looked like, you know, uh, it, they, sh they show some some sign that look like the root gonna come out but uh and there's one actually have roots and but the rest is like still waiting for a little longer time i guess okay so i just stick back the one that have no roots yet and i'm gonna close the lid and we'll continue to wait we'll check back maybe a week or two to see how that goes and that's it. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any question, put in the comment section and um, I will respond. Thank you. Okay, so this is the one that I had the roots a while ago. And so this ready for plants outside. What I did, what I do with transfer it out is basically put some top soil on a container and then fill it up with some peat, more peat moss just to help get the roots going easily with the peat moss. And then I stick this in. Then I add more pea moss on top here. So pea moss is pretty soft. So I'm just gonna fill it up with some topsoil dirt on top just to help stable. Kind of stabilize the the cutting. Then I add some water. I don't have to. I, I'm not. I'm not compressing any soil down or anything. I just let it lose like that. And that's it. And now I'm gonna put it under the shade, under the tree, um, for a few weeks and let it establish the roots before I move it outside.